Hello everyone, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Yeah, I was gonna go sit in front of the air conditioner, but no, no, I'm, I'm feeling froggy. It's still pretty early in the evening. Figured I could knock a reading out, so. Cancer, this would be your reading for the month of July, 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message you the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine, I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every cancer. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better or may not. It all depends on where the stars were lined up when you were born. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. And cross watches are always welcome here at the table. All right, buckle up. Start the ride. This side is you. This side is the person you're dealing with. The obstacle, what needs to be done. Why are you here, Cancer? King of Cups in reverse. Emotionally closed off to everything and everyone. Wow. I don't know what happened, but this is already getting heavy. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Oh. Either you just threw the towel in, or you feel like they just threw the towel in. Okay? You got nothing left. What do you think of them? Death in the reverse. You possibly think that they're never going to change. Might be a Scorpio you're dealing with. Potentially be a fire sign. What do you want from them? The sun. You just want them to be happy. You could just want them to find a connection that works better for them. Okay. Well, that's being the bigger person. I'm proud of you. How do they feel about you? The hermit. <laughs> they kind of feel like you're, you're isolating. You, you, they may feel like you're isolating from them. They, they just kind of feel like you're doing a little bit of work right now, possibly. Okay. What do they think of you? Three of Wands. They, they think you, you waited very patiently. They may think that you're still waiting. What do they want from you? Oh. The world reversed. They don't want this to end. Oh, wow. What's the obstacle? Six of Wands. The obstacle's getting through the battle. Hmm. What needs to be done? Nine of Swords. Someone may need to think things through a little bit. The towel gets thrown in. Okay. Let's get a little bit of clarity. Just just a touch. Just a touch. Mm. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and clarify with this one. Why not? Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards of the for Cancer? July 2020, please. A little bit of clarity. Why is the Nine of Wands reversed here? Pentacles reversed. 
throwing in the towel, not putting the work in, not wanting to work on it anymore. Just being done. Why is the death card reversed here? King of Pentacles reversed. Oh, wow. Ground to a halt. It's never going to change. They are not who they presented themselves to be in your eyes. Wow. Why is the sun here? Emperor reversed. Oh my. Back up. The Sun card is also a card of connection. So one of two things, this splits the story now. Either you want them to find a connection that works better for them, or you want this connection, but you want them to admit that they aren't what they said they were. You want them to admit vulnerability. You want them to own up to something. Because you're just ready... To, you're emotionally closed off. You're ready to throw the towel in. You're done working on it. Until they own up to... What they said they were. Until they start being the person that you thought they were. Oh my... Two of Cups came out without intention. We'll throw that up there. This is a very powerful connection. Probably relatively new. Could be. Could be not. Why is a hermit here? Queen of Cups was on top. Nine of Swords, Five of Wands, it all makes sense. There's deep feelings and emotions here. There is. Someone may be trying to avoid conflict. Someone may just be chewing on it, going all bat crap bonkers. The feelings, they're deep, they're emotional. They don't want to fight with you. They don't want to argue. There's deep feeling here. This is like connection at a spiritual level. Wow. But aren't they all? I mean, really? Wow. Okay. Why is it three of wands here? Seven of Cups. Five of Cups. Waiting for other options. Wow. Kick some cups over. I'm not sure what went down here, but one more, one more. I don't, okay, I'm going to take the towel where I'm going to put the rest back. 
This was sudden and abrupt. Somebody like 180. And somebody's waiting for a return. Deep sadness. Exploring other options, but... Still in a state of waiting. King of Wands not giving up without a fight. Why is the world reversed here? Ace of Cups reversed. They don't want something new. Judgment reversed in the Hierophant. They, they want you. Why is the Six of Wands here? Queen of Wands. Oh. Could be. Little spats. Little spats. Someone may have an argumentative nature. Someone may think they always have to be right. High pri yeah, high priestess reverse. Somebody has an ego problem. I'm not sure who. Somebody definitely has an ego problem that they need to work on. Why is the nine of swords here for what needs to be done? Lovers. Hanged man reversed. Sorry, hanged man in the upright. Acknowledge the connection and think it through trying to see things from the other person's perspective. This is the mirror card. This dude should be hanging by his feet in front of a mirror. For just a few minutes. Try to see things through their eyes. That involves taking a good hard long look at yourself. That's a great deal of introspection. Hard for me to say. But I've had to do it. Oh, indeed I have. It's part of spiritual growth. It doesn't have to be any one specific person's fault. It really doesn't. It always takes two to tango. Always. Unless you're a figure skater and you can, you know, hold your own. But, you know. Mm. Let's get some advice. Six of swords in the reverse, five of cups in the upright. Mm. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. The lies gotta stop. If there was any kind of skewing perceptions involved here, which I think there may have been a little bit, I caught a feeling that somewhere over here someone may have misrepresented themselves. That stuff's gotta stop. 
You got to be straight. You got to be honest. And I'm talking to both of you, Cancer and Crosswatcher. You got to be up. You got to be on the level. If you want to build a solid foundation, you got to be on the level. If you want to return, you got to return on the level. Well, it's only going to bring about more sadness. And it's only just going to keep reciprocating. Page of Cups in the world. Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. It's going to be a slow go. But if you're going to fly back in, fly back in and stay. Don't be the, I'm in, I'm out, I'm in, I'm out. If you want abundance, you got to take your time with it. You really got to get to know the person. You got to get to know what they're all about. And somebody's got to speak up. Somebody has to extend that olive branch. It's not going to happen on its own. And I love you, but I'm not going to do it for you. I have a hard enough time juggling my own relationship. Hard enough time dealing with my own stuff. I love ya. I'm always here for advice. Me and the cards, but I can't do it for you, baby. I can't. You got to be the one to deal with it. I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by. I hope July goes well for you. I hope you make it through this heat wave. Hopefully it cools off a little bit soon and gets a little bit more tolerable. Can't say I love you to bits. And I will catch you guys most definitely in August. And there might be a special, you know, sometime in July. Um, we'll see how froggy I feel. But as for right now, this has been your month of July reading. We'll talk soon.